Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So in this episode I would like to set up the ever shifting fountain. So let's start with that one shall we. In fact there's a couple of quests I think we've completed. Just have a quick look at that. Um, environmental, we completed this one. Let's claim the reward. Done. Um, and we'll also do some bits for the uh, other worlds as well. We'll see if we can do the uh, precision assembler and maybe the suit up. Pre precision assembler is quite good fun anyway. So let's have a look at what we've got in that chest, if anything useful. Ha, huh, an infernal chalice. Actually, that's one of the better rewards we ever, we ever get. So let's put that into there. Oops, wrong one. Oh, my back of holding. I'm sure I had some. That's a bit weird. Oh, never mind. Let's carry on. I thought I'd put some stuff into this bag of holding. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll put it somewhere else. So, right, let's go and have a look at this thing. Let's go first of all to the start that. Here. Let's, pick a, let's go and pick a place to go and do this. Let's do it over here, for example. Looks reasonably clean down here so let's just do it down this bit it's quite a, it's quite a device this thing we're going to build uh, and it takes a few minutes to do it so let's see what we can do so the first thing is it's got to be about seven blocks up so let's just chop down these trees here oops didn't mean to do that <laughs> how come i got slime balls from that that's a bit weird isn't it um um, um uh, let's get the magic put that stuff out probably not in a good place Let's put that over there and select this one. I think we could put it in here easily enough. Plant fiber, rocks, string, sticks, jumbo bugs, coal, crickets, grasshoppers, locusts, spruce wood, spruce wood chopped, painting. What did I pick up in this one? Slime balls. Most unusual. So let's just see if we can put some of this stuff down and put it back again. Let's want it. <laughs> oh, this big, this this tool is just so powerful. It's just uh, almost a bit of a pain when it goes like that. Right, that will do, I think. And let's just remove this tree. And I go and did the same thing again. And I got gold again. I don't understand this. Let's get rid of this stuff. Balls, beans. So I'm digging up something that's I really don't understand. Never mind. Is that anything else? I've got some primroses. And I suppose I've got to put all this the soil down again. Let's do that. I'm still picking up bits and pieces. Never mind. Well that's this. It's going to be up to night time, but that doesn't matter. So we need to go up seven blocks high to do this thing. So let's go up seven blocks high. Like that. I probably need to knock this tree down. See if I can knock this tree down without knocking everything else down at the same time. That's better. Interesting, I'm getting logs though. I'm a bit surprised about that. I mean, yeah. Spruce logs. I wonder why. Slapping, yeah, that's it to be expected. Okay, good. So seven blocks up and then we put the ever shifting fountain down of course I can climb up here fairly easily like that and then on top of the fountain we need a chalice we'll, we'll, we'll do that afterwards I think no we can do that now in fact a containment chalice if I can get up high enough I like that good so now we need to build it out a bit. So we basically start from here. And we need to go out, I think it's something like f three blocks. We'll go back four blocks and we put down a piece of sooty marble. Like that. And then on the sooty marble, what we need is, I'll move this out of the way, some ruined marble. So let's put those down. This is actually the bit where it gets a bit of a we need two in each direction like that and then we need to put one like this but we remove this one so we'll do that like that 
So we can then remove this one. We do the same at this end as well. I'll put that down, and that's basically I want to be able to get round to this like this. And then we need to go across here. I think that's right. Actually, I might not be right. Actually, I think I probably got to go back one because that's got to be like this. Yeah. So this should then line up to this one. So let's get this one lining up like that. In fact, I've got to chop down this tree well, so let's do that as well. <laughs> Gosh. So we've got some more books and some more oak, but whatever we got this time, what was it? Spruce wood. Witchery grubs. Spruce planks. And spruce saplings. Fine. So you see the pattern coming out here like this. So let's carry on and finish this off. Two. Sooty marble. And another tree in the way. So now, on the other side we carry out with it. We carry on down here like this. Two of those. But we have to put a third one down just to, so we can actually build the next bit. As I said before, like this. And then we come across one more down here, I think. There's too many stuff, there's too much, there's too many trees and ways to get rid of this. So that one disappears. And then we carry on from this. So we need three blocks in this direction. I'll remove this one. So we should have. Oh, actually, it's two blocks. So that's where this next city marble should be. And they should line up with this, fount with actually the fountain itself. So that's where we can finish this off now. I should have enough. I think I've got too much on this side here. I have look. It's sort of suspended in, it's suspended by itself. It's a bit of a strange strange thing really, but let's go across here. Two. So we need one more block here. So what I can do for doing that is just take out this one. That's all we need. So let's just get out another piece of marble. We've got some marble pillars here, let's use that. I might have been better doing this in the first place, wasn't I? So that's actually the form you see. Because it sort of shows up easier. Now what we do is we place on top of these two more to make a pillar. Again the right place I should be able to do it like that. On the steel marbles, and we do this underneath as well. So we now I can remove this dirt, let's do that. Well, that was better, that wasn't it? Turns into a grass block as I'm chopping it down. And then we come along underneath here and put down two more of these. So that's the pattern. And I'm in the way. Now, underneath this, we put the um, Neuromantic Prime, like this. Okay, and that's the construction done, completed. So what we now have to do is feed this chalice with um, starlight, liquid starlight. So one way to do this, I've discovered, is to take a few of these light wells. And you're not allowed to have anything in the middle of this. It's got to be outside it. What you can do, however, is to put them um, let's put one block down like say this I think and then you can put the star, light, the star wells on top and you can put them at the side as well I'm not sure what the range, it, range is yet we'll do four like that come over this side try not to fall off and do another four down here 
I've got to sort of stand on to this thing or not. Good. In fact, I think that's, yeah, that's fine. Now what will happen here? Let's get some uh, rock crystals out. In fact, I think I probably need to get some more rock crystals. Let's do that. Let's go for rock crystals. And take the essence. And what we do is we put into these, I think I should have had some in this bag. I should have had some bits and pieces. In fact, I think things are disappearing in this bag. I should have had some rock crystals. Let's have a look at those rock crystals anyway. Mm, yeah, I think I've lost some because there are more in here. But I got some special ones. Look at this one. So I managed to get this one up to purity 100%. And this one, then they split it off into two. So as you split it off, the size goes down quite a lot. So what I was doing, as I showed you before, so if I take this one, for example, now and put that into the light well, it might get some more bits and pieces. Let's get those rock crystals out. And let's have a look at the uses of that one. It will give us eight in total. So I've got six. That'll probably be enough to start with. So let's just take our lucky pickaxe. And hammer these away. Uh, what's happened there? Oh, that's interesting. Did you see that? So what we do now with these pickaxe, let's remove this grass block as well, we don't need that here. I'm using the silk touch to make sure I've pick up the block and I'll get bits of wood I don't know the cricket got dropped goodness let's go and pick this one up oh, look there's a there's a magic axe <laughs> um, let's put this one back down here I've got no space on it to have look at this goodness must be picking up stuff from there let's get rid of the stuff that we can See the locust went over that side this time. Blocks of cross blocks, let's put those up there. With sticks, I think we've got some sticks around here, let's put those down there. Okay, that's good. So that must be one of the effects I've got from my um I pick up all of those. Yes it did. What on earth is that down there? Is that a shark? Light shark, goodness, look at what's its strength. I don't need to get fighting them at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's doing it itself. My goodness. Oh, sorry, I didn't even. It because I put these these light wells down here. It's passed uh, enough starlight into there, and you can see that the starlight's going across to create this thing, and it just digs a great big hole all the way down. So look. It goes all the, way, all the way down to bedrock, and I don't know what his purpose of this thing is. Except for it goes right the way down to bedrock, so we just drop down to bedrock here. Somehow we get a bit of XP, but don't ask me why. Black quartz are. So that's what he does. It's as simple as that. Let's move it out of the way a bit. I thought it was. I thought the idea of this was it was supposed to bring from um, the ground. It was supposed to bring up starlight, but I think it's doing something else. But I don't think we could even harvest this starlight. I tried that before using um, a, prism, a prism, and it didn't actually work for me. So let's put. In fact, we got. We can do is put the other of these starlight. That went so fast. I didn't expect it to go so fast as that. Because when I was testing this out before. That one's already disappeared. It was quite difficult to get to go. <laughs> and now, well, that one's just broken. Anyway, I don't need these rock crystals. They're so easy to get. What was that one? 60%. So that's it. That's how you do this thing. 
the ever shifting fountains. It looks quite spectacular. Um, sorry we missed it. <laughs> That's a bit of a nuisance. Anyway, let's go back home now. God. That wasn't expected. I think we just passed this slam island, don't we? Oh no, we're in the other direction. Let's go to the. Let's go to base. And I think that's actually the very last thing that we do in the astral sorcery. And I don't even think that's a, a thing. Wow. Okay. So that went um, a bit quicker than I was expecting it to. So let's get rid of this. Now I've probably got some stuff we can get rid of. I don't think we can get rid of the spruce wood. Oh yes, I do need to show you something else too. Let's go and have a look at that straight away as well. Let's go back to the... Let's get rid of what we've got in here because we've got too much junk. I probably should be able to get rid of some more of this stuff like coal and bugs. I think they will disappear. Certainly string will. Slag, I'm not sure about, but slime balls and that should also disappear. Bowls and sticks. Sticks will definitely disappear. I'm not sure about grass blocks and beans. And beans we can go and put elsewhere anyway. Oh, the grass blocks did this would be good. So let's go put away. Let's go and get rid of these beans. I think I'm putting them in f raw food at the moment, aren't I? Because I couldn't remember where I've put it, and I still haven't looked up that either. So that's where we are. Let's sort the stuff back again. Wow, that's completely thrown me. I have to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, that's the other. F those are the other planks. Let's put those into the system. Oh, I've got some more bugs down here, haven't I? Let's get rid of the bugs as well. And we'll put the rock and the rest of the things into the system. In fact, the rock... I think... Oops, let's do it again. I don't know what it's doing with this one. Yes, there we got a rock. I've got a space for the rock elsewhere. Actually, we can put this crystal up there as well. Got lots of crystals in there. And have a look in here while we're at, while we're here. So we've got the rock in there, so we can put the rock into that. So that's sort of filling up. I've used up all of these, and I've got three more. I was making some interconnects for the next level. So I did that between episodes. Oh, I yes, I've just remembered. I did something else between episodes too. Let's get rid of those. And the bowl. I think we don't need the bowl with us. And I don't think we need the spruce saplings. What I did is I completed that quest for the um, that one done that one so that's now strange. Um, but that was environmental. We completed that quest. I completed that quest for which one is it now? Extra editions? No. There's different things I haven't done. Other worlds? No. Thermal? Yes. I can make, I made the rest of these tools and chart but that's not very exciting is it really? And so what else have we got there? We've got a portable storage, we've got to make a flux capacitor and a satchel hardened. Because that shouldn't actually be too difficult. So look what's in this chest. Two more chests, great. I won't complain about those. So a flux capacitor and a hardened satchel. What do we have to do for satchel? That'll be a satchel basic. So I guess it's just one of these two recipes. Blue wool. Is there any difference between this one? I think. Satchel type 5. I must maybe this one. Yep, we can do that one. And then we presume we can do the hardened by doing this. And what are we missing for the hardened? There were some nuggets there, which have tin nuggets. Okay, good, let's get some tin. I think I've got an ingot of tin or so, yes, that's in bar. Tin nugget. Oh, okay, let's split that one up. And I 
I think if I remember, it was just three like this, wasn't it? So that should complete that quest for Satchel Hardened as well. I hope. I thought to just check it. Satchel Hardened. That's weird. Well, it hasn't detected, whatever. There's no other sub, sub quest. That's a bit strange, isn't it? Satchel Hardened, zero of one. Satchel Hardened. Doesn't tell me much of what type of ones it, it uses. So what we'll do is we'll just claim that quest again. Let's have a look at that one. My dear, I must have 460. So we need to do the BQ admin command. Completed 460. I wish I didn't have to keep doing this, I must be honest with you. So quest portable storage is completed. That's now completed. Let's claim the reward and go back. And then we've got this one. Oh yes, I keep remembering we've got Arboreal to do. And we got some bread slices, fine. And that'll be in the cooked food. Oh, yeah, it's got a stack of stack of sixteen bread slices in there. So Let's go to the Celestial Altar, because just down here I think it is. We have, I've put down... This Arboreal Extractor here. And what I didn't do right is I have to put it down so it faces the tree. So let's have a look at this. It's now got six, almost seven buckets of sap in here. Now you can make it go faster by putting in some flux or some phyto grow into here. And that makes it, I think it'll change to four times the speed. So what we have to do to complete that quest is get a bucket of each. So this is sap because it's an oak tree. So let's go and get the buckets out of the system. I think I've got, yeah, I've got two. That'll do. So I've done bit strange. <laughs> Is there something there that hurts? I can't imagine. Anyway, let's take a book. A, a drum. Oh, I can't get this drum into the drum. Oh, wow. Okay, let's just take this thing here. And also take it out of... Is that drum full? It must be full. So I've got two drums. One with, one with resin in it and one with... So that one's got resin in it, and that's 10, 10 buckets worth. And this has got 50. Oh! No wonder it wouldn't. Ah, uh... oh, of course. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. Believe me, I haven't uh, turned this on, have I? <laughs> so that should now be able to give me a bucket, so I could probably put the other one back down again as it was. And this will be resin because this is a. Um, this is a spruce tree. Let's try that again with the two buckets. Huh. That's one. Two. Now that should have completed the quest because we got a bucket of resin and a bucket of sap. Yes, fantastic. Whew, that was hard work. And actually, that, they work quite nicely, quite quickly. So what I'm going to do is put those back again because I don't need these buckets of sap or resin that, that I can think of. Good. Let's get rid of those. In fact, I might as well eat something while I'm here. Huh, not very much. Okay, let's go back up to the altar and go back home. You see, I think it should be octans. Yes, you can see octans is active tonight as well. So that's that quest, and in fact, that, that gives me that quest. We might as well claim. Let's go back and claim that quest because that should have been this one. A boil extractor. This is weird, isn't it? <laughs> Why is it not detecting these things? A bit frustrating, to be honest. 426. Okay, let's press escape. I think it's 26, isn't it? Yeah, good. 
Cool. I need to complete all my quests myself. Let's have a look at this now. One chest. Standard loot chest. I think it's an experience pylon. Which I don't know if it's got any uses. It has no uses, we just dump it. Trash can. Good. So now let's get on with these advanced rocket rocketry machines. So we need a prison a precision assembler. This one. So we need a steel gear, two furnaces. What can we actually uh, and a redstone repeat? Let's put one of those into the system. I'm not sure I've got one of the diamonds, we've got definitely Oh, we haven't got any machine frames, have we? Let's get one of those out. I remember running out of those last time. Maybe we can do everything now. Yes, we can. So we can actually make the precision assembler. So let's go and look what else we need for the precision assembler. Um, oh, is that it? I just have to actually make this. Okay, good. Make the prison assembler itself. That's a bit, uh, that's a bit dull. <laughs> but we have to set it up. So let's get the... Um, Hollow projector out. I'm having difficulty seeing things. There we go. So, shift right click, prison assembler machine. Okay, let's have a look at what we actually need for that. So, we need some coils and motors, glass, actually, a bit difficult, machine structures. We need seven of those. So we obviously need some bits and pieces there. Now we need 20 machine structures. Okay, we'll make some more of those. So we need, this is a bit confusing, an output hatch, an input hatch, a creative power plug, input plug, a fluid output hatch, or fluid input hatch. I think we don't need the fluid ones, but we do need the input and the output hatches. Now since we've got two chests, we should be able to do that. So let's have a look at the um, recipe for hatches. Well, put it this way though. What's that? That's not, that's not a hatch. Ah, because it's not rocket tree. It's um, vulpes, isn't it? We need one of those, two of those. We need a motor and a coil. Now I've probably got some coils in there. Let's have a look what I've got in here. I've probably run out of stuff to be honest with you. So we need, so I've got four iridium coils. That's good. Two titanium coils. That's good. So we can actually compare an aluminium ones. That's also good. I've got a rune of mana there, which I don't really need with me there. Where am I putting my Britannia stuff? Well, not in here, but we'll put it in here anyway. Yeah, it's sort of because we got these internet connects and these litharite blocks as well. So, um, let's go back to that page. But precision assembly, yes. Power input, yeah, we've got that fine, so we don't need any of those. So we just need a motor. Oh, wrong place. So again, we'll do the elite because they're always the fastest ones. Now, I guess that we need some titanium plates and titanium iridium rods. Um, rods. Good, we can do that, put those away. And we need some coils. And we haven't got enough titanium ingots. Let's have a look, what do we need for titanium? I'll just put this down over somewhere over here so it gets rid of that thing. So we don't have to see that thing while we're actually the pattern. Let's have a look now. Titanium, which is rutile, I'll tell you what. And there we've got lots, 600 blocks, 600. Let's just shove those through the pulverizer. I think we want to use this one. 
titanium dust. Well, actually, I think we did it last time using cinnabar and that, but I, this will also do. And I'm not sure if it gives any. So look at the uses of this. I think the pulverizer is one of the best tectonic initiator. We could use this one. This is basically using tectonic perothium. That's what you need the perothium for, I think. You're just smelting this perothium dust. That was one of the two things that we needed for that. And what else do we have in here? Phyto concentrator, which basically uses cinnabar to give us four. And the, and the standard induction furnace will give us three with cinnabar. We did that before, but I think we're fine with this. Let's take half of those out of there. Well, that took a long time. Let's shove those to the, oh, of course, yes, because we're getting 32, two each time. I was just wondering if we had the second byproduct from this. We don't. 52. As you can see, this is so much. F this is so much faster using the one with the speed upgrades. Let's just give it 64. Good. Let's go and put that into the. Oops, let's try again. Put that into the furnace here. Get everything in. Good. Got our two stacks of ingots. Let's put those into there. So now we should be able to make the motor. Good. So let's go and put this construction down somewhere. We haven't got any glass, but it uh, doesn't matter about that for the time being. We're going to put it, carry on on this row here, I think. And then after that, I'm going to have to find another place for something or other. And I think it's again, it's three by two. Let's put it down here. No, it's actually bigger. This is a four by three structure. Okay, good. So a, fl a fluid input hatch, fluid output hatch, machine structure, and output hatch. So we'll do an input hatch first of all. I want an output hatch as well. So we should have. Okay, I think we'll just put an input hatch here and the output hatch beside it. And I didn't pick up... Did I get those? Yes, that's the right way around. So then we need... I think these can be anything power points. But let's do the one at the back as being the power point because we always put them at the back. Oh, we need two motors. Ah, okay, that's a mistake. So we need a power point here. And these can be machine structures, and these need to be coils, iridium coils. We'll start off with um, iridium coils again. So we'll put down one of the motors and go make another one. What else do we need? Machine structures. Oh, that's the precision, precision number itself. Good. I was looking for that. And we need some glass too, and I've got some. Yeah, of course, I've got the effect, haven't I? The regen effect because I'm near to the altar. So hopefully we can make another a motor. Um, do missing these. Good. So we need some machine structures too. And I think the rest are in here. Not 13. Not two, that should be enough anyway. I hope it was just two pieces of glass. We'll see in a second. <laughs> well, we got one. That's a machine structure there. Let's just uh, move that out of the way. That's also machine structures, and these are too. And then we need to go and get the motor out. And then we move up, a, move up a layer. So let's get the satchel out of the way. So we've got glass and glass. And these are machine structures. I think the rest of it's machine structures. I 
I think that's actually it. Oops, missed. There we go. Let's try that again. I guess if we go one more there. Oh yes, we've got some more machine structures up here, haven't we? Yeah, it makes it makes a sort of a it's quite always oh, a big it's quite a big block this one, isn't it? go so we now have this made and if we look for the recipes on this I think we can see the recipes so you see the speed is 64 times that's partly because of the motors and part maybe because of the coils let's go and check it out and the coils are just in front of the motors aren't they huh. so I'm probably gonna have to come in this side here Yes, they're the two coils. Those are iridium coils. So let's try a different co coil this time. Let's try the aluminium coils. There were two strips. Oops, wrong ones. I just put in coils, haven't I? Let's get the structures out again. So this time the speed is 25, so that goes down significantly. Um, and so let's try the next machine. Let's go back to the coils again. So the other type, of course, will be to will be titanium. So the easiest way to do this, we'll put down one iridium and one titanium. Let's put down the iridium at the far place because it's probably the iridium that's the fastest because so far it's always been the fastest. And titanium, and then put these two down there like that. Come around here, right click that, a 46.2. So it is definitely fastest with the iridium coils. So let's, let's set that up again. So now, recipes, let's have a look. Input hatches, output hatches. Does it show me any recipes in this? Of course we've got to do power, let's do that. We need a PowerPoint. We need to configure the PowerPoint. Turn it on. Does it show me any recipes in here? No. Okay, let's have a look for recipes. So that's the pre precision assembler. So what we can do, ah, oh, we can make these, you see. And these are generally a cheaper recipe, I think. So one silicon plate, one gold plate, and one redstone to make the item IO duct. And if you look at the recipes for this thing, we can do it this way, which is four gold dusts, one iron plate, one diamond and redstone. So you see, it's always cheaper to use a precision assembler. Now, how do we make a silicon plate? We compact or roll silicon. Okay, so we can do that. Silicon, I don't know what we have in the moment for silicon. I will be honest, let's have a look. Nothing in there. So let's get some silicon out of here. It's just sand, isn't it? Let's just take a couple of stacks of sand. put those into there I've got three no one little different. oops <laughs> that was Britannia automatically opening up the book for me let's try that again and that's because I was holding down control I think so they'll be working they'll make some ingots let's see if we've actually got any silicon in the system yes we've got seven good we can try that Silicon plates. I'll have some more ringers being made. So, this is the rolling machine, isn't it? So, I think it's got two input hatches. Yeah. 
and there's a left and the right one and it has to go in the right one six seven good so gold I'm not sure how much gold we've got let's have a look at what we've got for gold I don't mean that in that sense I've got 34 of those let's just take seven of these and redstone Eleven thousand. Uh, output hatch, input hatch. So we need to. Oh, I need to roll the gold down. So let's do that. Is it doing two at a time? Why it's so fast? Okay. So this thing. That's the crystallizer. Got the input hatch again, so right. So put a couple of those in, a couple of silicon plates, and a couple of redstone. Ah, oh, yes, I remember. See how fast that is boom, boom, and it's here and it comes out here. We actually need some more input hatches on this machine. Let's go and get that made up. The reason you need that is you can have actually multiple input hatches. Let's make a couple more input hatches. There are recipes that require five items, that's the reason why. So let's have a look at this one. Input hatch. It doesn't matter about the output hatches so much. Right, I've run out of machine there, plus <laughs> let's put that down there and that down there and like that. It doesn't matter so much about the output, but the input can help. What you can do with this if I'm not mistaken, you can make have multiple input. Let's do it like this. Oh, full of course. Let's put that down in position number six. Put those in like that. And then you can see that these become input hatches. And you're actually allowed to have multiple things in here. So let's open that up again. Turn it back on again. So let's, we're going to have a look at the, the uses of that machine, won't we? So let's have a look at the uses of that machine. So that's one recipe. Copper plate's another one. And then we can make bionic leg upgrades with motors and assemble, uh, advanced circuits. They're basically advanced wafers, which is gold. All oh right, we have to make some wafers, definitely. Gold redstone blocks and silicon wafers. We made those before. Let's go back to the uses of this one. Oh, I did that wrong, didn't I? Uses. So some of these things will actually take more than three items. Most of them don't. But, so this is four. So that would actually make a flight control upgrade. That's all for flight suits and stuff like that. That would be no problem. That's no problem at all to do four. And that's five. There's still four. And here, for example, a biome changer remote or a atmosphere analyzer, both require five items. That's why you need multiple input hatches. Well, I think that's done. Let's go and have a look at the suit. Uh, maybe I'll do that next time. So we've actually completed the quest. Let's put this stuff back. In fact, we can put the silicon plate and the gold plate away. Let's get rid of those. Put the item IO boards away too. And the coils we'll put in it. We'll also put away, don't need oops, I just clicked the wrong thing in there. What did I just send away? Probably something I needed. <laughs> oh great. Um I'll find out what it is eventually when I need it. So let's have a look. Other worlds we should have completed precision assembler. So basically the next one's suit up. We've got to make a suit workbench and the different types of suits. So let's open this leg. Okay, the lamps. I think they go in random things, they do, yeah. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. So next time is definitely suiting up time. So until then, 
Bye for now.